how many people, raise your hand if you got children that you love who, you, who are not in your household that you do not have the control over that you should have as a father and it's causing you pain? Raise your hand. Huh? All right. All right. All right. How many fathers in the room? Raise your hand. All right. How many fathers in the room? All right. Okay. How many husbands are in the room? How many husbands are in the room? Okay. Okay. <laughs> how many how many people how many people have been married before? Okay. All right. Now. <laughs> See, there's a definition of a husband. What is a husband? See, the definition is what we got. You see, if I can say husband, this is a husband. And a husband is one who tills the ground. A husband is one who takes care of the soil. A husband is one who raises a crop. A husband is a farmer. A farmer puts the seed in the ground. But before he puts the seed in the ground, he cultivates that ground. He breaks it up. You know, that ground might have been hard. Might have had rocks and boulders in it. He takes all the rocks and boulders out. He takes the plow and he breaks up the land, breaks up the soil, gets all the grass out of it, turns all the soil over, makes sure it's nice and soft and wet and fertile and ready for his seed to be planted. Just kind of how we do when we, you know, walk upon a woman and we start, you know, talking to her softly. We make sure she's wet and fertile, right? <laughs> yep. See, God give you an example of physical of everything that happened in the spiritual. Really, he does. Now, it's a whole lot more work, though, to actually do what you are supposed to. See, we get into the part of saying, hey, baby, hey, baby, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, I like you, girl. You know, we, we get this, we get to spit in our game. We're doing what we do. We rub it here and there. You know what I'm saying? But the reality is that what we're doing there, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to do. A minute, depending on who you're with. It actually takes days and weeks and years to do. When you look at it from the perspective of a husband as a farmer, you're preparing the ground to put a seed in it. You're preparing yourself you're preparing a home, you're preparing an environment. So when you're dating, when you're courting, when you're talking to a woman, when you introduce yourself to her, if you are preparing the ground, if you're preparing the environment, what are you doing? What's your conversation like? Even before you get to her, in and of yourself, Mm -hmm. Or you build in you, you, you becoming a man, you freshening up on your man, you still preparing yourself to put yourself in a predicament to be a husband or father. Now, what are the three basic responsibilities of a man that we talk about? To, to what? To, to protect, to provide, and to maintain. The law of the jungle is what? The law of the jungle is what? Kill and be killed. The first rule, the first responsibility to protect. Don't no woman want a man who can't protect himself, who can't hold his own, who can't fight. <laughs> whether that's whether that's verbal, whether it's physical. So how do we measure that in a civilized society? Well, you get on the basketball court, she's looking at you, right? Are you strong? Are you you know, that may not be your thing. Well, can he play football? You know, you're on the football field. You get smashed on the football field. But damn, you know. Can he play uh, tennis or soccer or something? But she wants to see physical strength. She wants to see what? 
that you can do what? Hold you can hold your own. Can you fight? Can you, if somebody is going to physically threaten me and our children, can you protect us? That's your job. But then you got some that's out here like, he work, he when he can't do. fight, he not strong, but he got A1 credit. Let me tell you where the problem the problem comes in. Remember remember last week we was talking about how the mind begins with definition, the mind moves to purpose, and you got truth along the way, right? And here's this mind right here moving. Now the problem comes in when this mind hits a lie and it jumps off into an imagination because the imagination comes about and we live in a world of illusion when we hit a lie. Now we can be talking about self. We can be talking about the definition is who? Self. The definition is what? Man. Now we say this is what the man's responsibility is. Protect, provide, and maintain. Now we start talking about her and we go off into my imagination. Because the subject is what? Self. Self. So not, let's not talk about the one who's, she, she a gold digger. Let's not talk about the one who's, you know, just trying to get pregnant and, and, and you know, lay up and then get public aid. Let's not talk about the, let's not talk about because she a hoe. Let's talk about self. self and stay on the truth. Because as soon as we start talking about her, we're going to go off into what? Right. Because you're talking about a woman who's living in what? So we ain't talking about women who living in a lie because that ain't what I'm looking for. Is that what you're looking for? No. no. Well, then let's not talk about that. Because what you think, what? You what you talk about. You so let's stay on the truth. Now, if I as a man say my first responsibility is to protect, then I got a responsibility to, on a mental and a physical level, to be doing what with myself? Protect. To be working on what? Myself. Now, all the, I, I don't see nobody in this room. We ain't got nobody in here today who look like a punk. Ain't got nobody in here that I just, we just look at and say, if, if, if we going to pick, pick somebody, we got to whoop somebody ass today. Who we going to whoop? <laughs> you know, it'd it probably be some debate going on. It ain't one of them clear cut things where we could just say, well, you, you know, we going to get him because he's just a punk. Right? It'll be you. Now, nah, you just looking for a fight. Now, so all of us understand, we walk through, we live in a neighborhood, we live in a world where we know. We just, you just got to be able to hold your own, right? Basic. Protect, provide. Provide. What is that? Give, produce. Produce. Provide. Provide what? Shelter, Insulate. food, everything that's needed, right? Shit. All these needs right here, right? Got to be provided for. So in this society, that means what? I got to do what? Work. Got to work. It means I got to do what? Work. So I got to learn how to work in a way that I can put some product, some service on the market and get an exchange. Or I got to get a job so that I can go to the job and put my labor on the market so that I can get something back from that. Now, however we figure out how to do that in a righteous way, in a way that is not illegal, then we have to be doing what? Work, work. Working to provide. So she say, well, he can protect me, but I don't know if he can what? Provide. Most of us get caught up when we get in the situation where we have a child and we're not married. The child's not living with us. She's not living with us. We get in conflict. We get brought to court over what? Child support. Now, some of the times, I mean, we doing what we can do, trying to give, provide what we can, but we never really... One of the problems is that we never really learned how to provide for self and a family. Um, 
um, but when you in a relationship with a woman, mm -hmm. you can still, you can be with her and provide her for the kid, and she's still getting child support. That's crazy to me, on the real, because I know somebody that live with his baby, do for his baby, live with the girl and everything, and anytime he works, the girl still gets child support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know a few people in that situation. Yeah. My, my child live with me most of the time, the vast majority of the time. I still got to pay child support. Because what's the responsibility of the father? Protect what? I'm saying if you Provide. Already and then they getting more money out of you. No, see, that's the whole thing. See, here's the problem. The child. That's the whole cat. Her and the child. I'm just see, saying, that's what, that's what, the, that's what society says. See, here's the problem. I ain't saying it's fair. That's what it is. I ain't saying it's fair, but this is the law. Exactly. What's the man's responsibility? Protect, to protect, provide, and maintain. Is it the woman's responsibility to provide? Yeah. Hmm? yeah she got to yeah. provide too. She but as a man, you got to step up. And we don't provide the lion's share, but she got to provide the fair. She got to provide the uh, <laughs> nurture <laughs> for the kids, right? She got to provide the That's true. I'm staying with you. See? Here's, this is part of the problem. Here's part of the problem. See, I was at court. I was at court, you know, dealing with this issue, dealing with child support. I was upset, you know, walked away. The judge made a judgment. I walked away. You know, I was kind of upset. Didn't hardly scream about it. But after I thought about it, I said, well, what is the responsibility of the male? Provide, protect, maintain, right? What's the responsibility of the female? To nurture, to give comfort. Consolation. Okay. Now you said, say, say what you. They tell us what they don't believe in just taking care of the woman. The woman gonna have to do it. Woman's not nursing and all. Right, she gonna have to learn she how to. She gonna have to do more than that. Provide, protect, and maintain. Yeah, yeah. You can't win. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Go back to what he lives letter. It goes back to what he lives letter, right? Okay. They wish um, the yeah, Who, who can, who can explain to me what since, since we talking about the man first? Okay, we talked about protect, provide. Maintain. Um, maintaining is to provide what is needed over time. On a consistent basis, day to day, when a need shows up, I know I'm going to fulfill it. I'm going to maintain it. I'm going to make sure when the table, if the, the leg is hanging off the table, it's my responsibility to do what? To fix it. When the, the front door is falling off the house, it's my responsibility to do what? When she has an emotional problem or issue, as women do, then it's my responsibility to do what? Walk away. Walk away. My responsibility to address it, right? Now, all right. Now, let's go over to, let's go over to the other side. Now, now listen, listen, listen. Now. I'm going to start with this premise, because we're going to go over to the other side. If I didn't, if I didn't fully understand or have at least this much understanding before today or before the last couple of months of what the role of the man is, is it safe to say that I probably don't understand what the role of the female is either? Yeah. Is it safe to say that I have the role of the female to learn? And is it safe to say that since most of the females are in the same situation that I'm in and most of my friends are in, they probably don't know what their role is either. So is it safe to first say, well, let's explain what this role is before I start disagreeing with it. Because when we look at nurture, comfort, and consolation, we think about it in a physical way. We think about it that... that Man, all she, well, I, I do like, you know, the fact that, that, you know, her job is to give me some, you know what I'm saying? Take care of me. But that's not all that that means.
That's not all. Just like protection, you know, protect me.